good to Mike. I know last year ending the streak it was painful for you, but now you're back where you belong, national champion. What's your thoughts? Yeah, it was um, a tough one. Probably the toughest I've ever had. Um, yeah, not great preparation. I had a little bit of a quad tear just leading up to it, but you know, nothing's ever stopped me. There's been a few years where I've been really badly hurt. 2011, I remember it well, really badly. You know, I was told I didn't have to turn up, but I've always took the trial seriously. I've always wanted to be there. And I think you should be here, really. I think if you want to qualify, I think you should be here. So, um, yeah, I could have, I could have dropped out quite easily. I was given the option, but you know, I want to be here. I want to, I want to do the business and that sort. Look at that's what I've done today. It was a tough one. Um, lacking, a, lacking a bit of fitness. I'm not training for three weeks, so you could, I could tell that. One thing to go, I knew. I was hanging on. It was hurting, but luckily just about oh well, I was going to say so you talked about fitness so what have you learned from two rounds you're not on standard <laughs> it's not at the high standard yeah, you come yeah. through successfully with the result you wanted so hopefully upward trajectory now to, to Moscow yeah fingers crossed it's sort of so far my most successful sort of year in terms of consistency you know, every time I step on the track 145 even a bad race is only 145 so that's consistent that I was open I'm just waiting for that, that jump now I know it's there I know there's probably a PB there so I'm just waiting for that right race to Get up there, hopefully maybe Monaco or maybe a, you know, maybe the London anniversary games that'll be quick. So hopefully it'll get a little bit of training now, sharpen up and hopefully look for a big one. Brilliant. Congratulations, thanks to talking to you.